everybody welcome back to my channel so today i have an exciting video because it's a mishmash of a haul and sort of like a mailbox unboxing um i uh, don't know what it is but i'm really really excited about spring summer this year and i've basically gone crazy purchasing you know clothes pur purchasing bags purchasing accessories just i've gone nuts and i need to really reel it in a little bit but um i did purchase a few items um, from Zara so I will start with that first but in this video I'm also going to do a vintage handbag unboxing and then also a pre-owned sort of shoe unboxing so there is still a few things coming up this isn't really everything that I bought but I didn't want to keep waiting until they all arrived to do a video I just wanted to get this filmed and done while I had the time so I'm gonna do the exciting stuff at the end um, so I'm gonna do the you know, handbag unboxings at the very end um, and I will start off with my Zara haul first so I went to Zara at Chermside and I was blown away with the the sock that was available at Chermside Zara if you don't frequent that Zara I do recommend you go it's way way better than the Zara in the city in my opinion and I just love the new stuff that they've come out with this spring and summer I I did sort of go a little bit crazy could have purchased a lot more but I did try to sort of just calm myself down a little bit you guys know if you've been following me for a while that I love 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 buying things in multiples if I see something that I love I tend to buy it in another color so so this haul is a little bit representative of that but um, you know I'm sorry that's just how I am so I'm just gonna race through them because I'm not, I know that you guys are excited for the unboxing so here we go and um, the first thing that I saw were actually these um, knit pearl um, top this is basically from the Zara knit collection which I absolutely love I feel like the Zara knit collection is just bang on there the quality of their clothing items there is really really nice and for the price it's just amazing when I saw this I was in love I love 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 the pearl details you guys know I'm obsessed with pearls lately and I've got pearl slides I've got pearl jeans and I've got like pearl all kind of pearl earrings it's not really but like they're sort of bally pearly I don't know when I saw this I loved it and it was um, only $45.95 so $46 for a really nice quality um, like knit shirt um, and this actually has pearls all the way through which I actually really really like because it makes it look more expensive Granted, it does make it really, really uncomfortable when you're wearing it, especially when you're sort of driving or sitting back on a chair, but it is something I'm willing to put up with. So this is the first thing that I got, and they actually had the same shirt in a different color, and that is this cream one here. This one I have already worn, and I just love, love the cream with the pearl. It's just really, really nice, and you know, with a pair of dress pants, or with some jeans it just looks classic and effortless with a hint of like femininity which I really really like so I have already worn this um, to work so it's a bit dirty so this actually needs to go in the wash because it's got makeup when I've been wearing it but yeah this is the first two items as I said doubling up there because I absolutely love it there was a black but I was like you don't need a black just you need to stop at two just get two and that is it. The black looks nice, but I prefer, you know, with pearls to be paired with a nice soft sort of color or hue. So that's why I went with the softer, you know, pale pink and the cream, which I just, I love those shirts. So, so happy when I found them and I got them in the small. It only came in small, medium and large. Another clothing item that I saw that I really, really liked and decided to get were actually these pants. Now, they're sort of like dress pants, um, but they do have the really cool side strap there. Now, this isn't an extra small, but it does fit a little bit big on me, so I haven't quite decided where, whether or not I'm going to keep it. It looked really good when I tried it on, but obviously I want to try it on with a few of the other stuff that I do own, um, just because... You know, it if there was an extra extra small, that would have been perfect. But I, you know, like with all Zara trousers, pants, they tend not to fit me very well. Um, they tend to run a, like a size too big, in my opinion. This would look really really cool with like a sweater, but I really wanted to be able to wear this with just t-shirt for like that casual athleisure vibes with just some slides. Like um, that's sort of how I pictured wearing this. But it, I don't know if it will look as good as 
how I'm seeing it in my head. Overall, the price was really nice on this. It's like, um, it was $45.95 yet again. I actually don't mind the taper on this. It's a really, really nice taper. It does, it's not too snug on your ankles, but it's not too loose. It's just like a cigarette trouser fit. It does have belt loops there, so you can wear a belt with it. So, I mean, I think it's something that you can dress up and down, but obviously fit is really important. So I'm just going to see how this sort of pairs with other things in my closet before I do decide on keeping it. But yeah, so that's that one. Those are all the clothing items I did pick up from Zara. I'm just going to move on to accessories now. This was where I splurged a little bit. Um, I bought three pairs of shoes. I'm going to start off with the duplicates first, which I, I sort of mentioned to you guys that I'm crazy about. First one is actually these pair of slides. I saw the black ones first and I loved it. I've been on the hunt for like just a simple pair of slides for spring, summer. Um, these black ones are just like just so effortless and chic and I just love how it's such a simple design with just like a single band strap there and then this bit of hardware it just looks really really cool paired with you know jeans paired with slouchy um, pants like these gives that really effortless vibe um, I've been in love with the Hermes Oran sandals and I've been thinking about purchasing them for the longest time and before I went to Zara I was actually on the lookout for like a um, a brown pair of these. Um, unfortunately, they only had black and the white and I grabbed both of them because I couldn't decide. I think like this white one just gives a really nice fresh take on a pair of shoes because I don't own any white shoes, I'm not going to lie, because I find that they're really, really hard to style. But these ones are like, you know, pretty, pretty casual and easy and I just thought that these would pair nicely with skirts, with um, shorts, with trousers, you know, what have you. And black and white, you really can't go wrong. What's cool is that this is with gold hardware and this is with silver, so I think the silver and the white looks really nice and, and crisp and fresh and it would look really great with my silver accessories and my silver bag. So, um, I was initially only going to keep one, but I couldn't decide between both to be honest and I've already worn both of them. So absolute loves, absolute recommends, especially if you're on the lookout for a nice pair of simple slip-ons. Check them out. Honestly, if they had a pair of brown ones, I would have been on it just like that. I probably wouldn't have purchased the black and white. I would have substituted one of them for the brown, but honestly, if they had the brown, I would have been all over it. Trying out that trend before I invest my money on like the Hermes or on sandals because they're like a thousand dollars for a pair of slippers and these are like, this is like not even 10% of the price of that. So yeah, very, very cool. Um, and then the last pair of shoes that I wanted to share are these. How cool are these? Um, I am so, so into pointed heels, pointed mules, pointed flats lately. I just think that they, look so cool um it, i don't know what it is about these shoes they just i was just instantly gravitated towards them i like the cut of the mule so i like how it's sort of a pointed cut there i really like this pierce design that's sort of um, reminiscent of the jw anderson pierce bag i like the grid pattern on this and i really like that it's a loafer as well i have already worn this quite a few times around the office because they are like that nice pair of mules that i feel like is you know professional enough to wear in a workplace setting um however i have noticed because of the way it's cut it's quite difficult to walk in they tend to sort of um slip a little bit and then also because it's fabric there when you get wear and tear at the tip like you normally do with any sort of pointed toe shoes it does fray a little bit so i might have to actually pop some clear nail polish on the tip there just to protect it a little bit but still really really cool um i just think they would look great in photos um i i don't know i just love them although as i said they're not the easiest thing to walk around in definitely not something you'd wear or like a full day of walking maybe to brunch maybe to lunch that kind of you know scenario where you're not you're mostly sitting down and things like that but yeah love them and they were also all of these shoes were actually like $45 each which I think is pretty good for um you know what they are I always love finding nice pairs of shoes from Zara I find that like a lot of my shoes are from Zara because they just get the styles and the designs really like spot on so 
yeah, those are the shoes that I bought from Zara and all of which I am keeping. And no self-control. I literally bought them to set, to just see how I like them when I got home and then I just, I couldn't bring them back. I couldn't bring myself to bring them back. Uh, now, the final thing that I got from Zara is actually a bag and that is this. It's like a suede bucket bag and I know... I really shouldn't be buying any more sort of high street bags because I have so many designer bags that I really don't use. But I've been obsessed with the Simon Miller bamboo bag and the brand new buck leather in the 20 centimeter, but it's so, so hard to find. And, you know, they go for a thousand dollars. I wasn't sure whether or not it would wear and tear well. Right now, I'm actually really obsessed with them. And if I had seen it like available, I probably would have, would have purchased it because it's just, it really just emulates what I'm going for this spring summer. But I saw this and it sort of reminded me of it actually. Um, this is sort of like a bucket style suede bag. Um, it does come in like this saffron yellow leather, which isn't my favorite. I wish it was more of a brown color, um, but it is still quite a neutral color in my opinion. What I like about this is, you know, the simple design of it and it is true like suede leather. It also comes with this pocket that you can sort of secure all of your items in there if you want to. And it sort of just pops into the bag with these, um, you know, snap locks on each side. It also comes with a strap here, so if you choose to wear it crossbody, you can do so, but I just don't think it looks very flattering. Um, as a crossbody but you know there's that option there if you want it but I probably would just wear it open like this and just put my stuff in there it also comes with four feet at the bottom and um, yeah I just I think it looks like the Simon Miller bag what do you guys think um, bucket bags are so in at the moment there's, there's also the stout or the stored bucket bag and like the JW Anderson bucket bag um, so really um, popular at the moment. And what I want to try and figure out with this bag is sort of I want to be able to sort of pull it in like this so that when you wear it it kind of looks more like that. I think that actually looks a little bit cooler than how it was. So what I've done is I've just popped a like a hair tie there and I've used some clips to pull it together. Um, I think that looks cool but I'm still undecided about whether I'm going to keep this because this ended up being a hundred dollars and I don't know if it's like the or ninety dollars and I don't know if it's honestly worth that. I know it's made of full leather um, but there is another bag here that I've purchased on the um, Vogue's online shopping night um, that I'm umming and ahhing about keeping so I'm just I'm so I'm just so scattered brained about like my go to summer bag like uh, there's so many nice summer bags that I really really want and um, I, I don't know what's come over me I'm just like really loving like the top handle bags lately So I sort of got this because as I said, I'm obsessed with the Simon Miller bag But I don't know if I should just get it or you know, I, I just I don't know I thought this was cute. I thought I'd give it a go But I'm still in two minds about whether or not I'm gonna keep it So yeah, if, but I just thought I'd share in case anyone is interested and you know likes the look of this I think it's just like a really nice sort of top handle bag that you can wear with simple outfits like this one for example and more neutral colors, but the yellow is just not not like appealing to me as much as if it was like a brown bag. So yeah, that's that one and then that's everything really that I purchased from Zara. I'm just going to mention two things that I purchased from Seed um, through David Jones. And let me just show you that really quickly. The reason I want to share it with you is because one of them is actually something I've been looking for for a while. As you guys know, if you watch my favorites video, I've been loving like the pair of earrings from H&M um, and I got a silver pair but I actually found these from Seed and they are exactly the same design but in gold so I'm excited to give this a go and they do have the silver as well if you wanted to get yourself a pair but can't find them in H&M um, so this was $20 which is a little bit more expensive than what I paid for it when I bought it from H&M but I honestly can't find them anywhere else and I certainly can't find them at H&M so this is just an option for anyone who is interested and then the one thing I did want to share with you guys really quickly is actually this bag and pouch now you're probably wondering why did you get that obviously it's really not my style but you guys know me and straps 
I always buy it for the straps. So this is more of that guitar strap um, with the studs and this honestly reminds me of um, the Dior bag strap um, and I thought that this would pair really really nicely with my vintage Chanel Dior and it would just give it like that update that I think would look really really cool. Now, I did actually try it on. I did try it on with my Lady Dior, but unfortunately, this is a little bit too long for me, being five feet. And the issue I have with this is it's not adjustable. If it was adjustable, I'd be there. I would keep it in an instant. But because it is quite long, I don't know if it's gonna be, it's gonna actually work out for me. So um, this was, this was $69.95 full price, but it was on sale for, $40 and then they had an extra 20% off of that so I got it for $30 which isn't a bad price considering you get like I think this is an old leather pouch and a strap obviously I only bought it for the strap and $30 for a strap is not bad but it's the fact that it's too long that I can't you know I can't justify keeping it so I think I'm actually going to be returning this one but I thought I'd mention it to you guys in case you were interested or if you're looking for like a so the strap like this to add to your Lady Dior as well or to another black handbag. So yeah, just thought I'd mention it. Um, and so that's everything that I purchased from Chermside. I'm now going to move on to my unboxing. So I do have a few things that I've recently picked up online. As you can see, the first box that I got is actually shoes. For some reason, I kind of went crazy looking for vintage shoes. I followed twin bloggers called Nissi and Desi. They're German Filipino twin bloggers and their blog is called Teeth Are Jade and they have just been my style icons lately. I love, love, love their effortless classic style and that's really what I've been gravitating towards more lately. Nissi, I think, found these really nice vintage pair of Priders that I was so in love with and I just thought you know what let me have a look online and see what vintage shoes I can find as well um, because you know a lot of the old style fashion trends are coming back like the pointed mules like they were very very popular way back when and so rather than dropping like a thousand dollars on a pair of designer shoes why not go the pre-love route because there are so many amazing vintage pieces around so that's what i sort of went and did and i did pick up two shoes the other one is still on its way but the first one is here this one is from japan there we go. oh so they didn't come in a box this basic they basically came in a dust bag and this is the first one and i purchased this when ebay was having like their birthday um promo so there was like 18 percent off of these which was amazing they are chanel i don't know if they're vintage per se but you know they're obviously not new and this is what they look like so they are a pair of vintage chanel pumps and i have been loving pointed heels lately and look at them they look awesome now obviously they are used but the condition of these are actually pretty nice. So you can see there is a bit of wear on the soles, um, but nothing that, you know, a bit of baby wipe can't clean up um, and just like a bit of scrubbing there. But the there is a bit of wear on the points here as well, if you can see that. Um, and you can see that the bottom has been worn in. I got it in a 36 and a half. Oh my God, you guys, these look so cool and they're super duper pointy. Something I can wear to work and the heel's not super high. And you guys know these slingback shoes are so popular at the moment, especially with Dior, you know, with their slingback. So, oh, I'm so, so happy about these. And I picked them up for like 250 Australian dollars, including postage. How awesome is that? So very, very happy about those shoes. You guys know I'm obsessed with like pointed shoes at the moment, as you saw from my Zara haul. How amazing is this condition like? It's got like a mesh detail here and it's got like a really nice pointed vampy sort of um, shoe design there. Oh, just just love it and I love the heel height and oh my god I'm so so happy. I'll try to find some links to these in the info bar because I, ha I did see a few. Um, this was probably the cheapest in the best condition so that's why I purchased them and they're from a Japanese consignment seller which I'm always about because they tend to be you know, really, really trustworthy um, 
sellers. So that's the first one. Now this item I purchased from the Vogue online shopping night um, and it is from an Australian contemporary designer for bags. Um, so let me just sh share it with you and then I'll talk to you guys a bit more about it. And I'm not actually sure about whether or not I'm gonna keep it because obviously I haven't seen this in real life, but I saw really, really cool pictures of it. And um, the thing that I'm hesitant about is whether the size is gonna be right for me. Like I've been mentioning, I've been on the hunt for like the perfect brown summer bag, um, something that's top handle, that's more of like a basket or bucket bag style. I saw this in the black in a fashion the bloggers Instagram and I was like, oh my God, what is that bag? And that's sort of how I found this brand. And then I was surprised to see that they were actually an Australian company. Um, and in addition to that, while I've been stalking their Instagram and their website, um, they actually had 25% off during the Vogue's online shopping night. So I thought it would, was the perfect opportunity to purchase this bag. Um, so opening it up, this is sort of how it comes packaged. What? Oh my god, so I've been rambling for like 20 minutes and I've unboxed like everything and this this camera stopped recording. Anyways, guys, back to the Nihilo unboxing. So it came wrapped up in this magnetic box right here. This is what it came in. It came comes in this dust bag and this is what I got. So I got the um, 8 mini bag and I got it in the tan. Um, I think the 8 bag is one of their very very popular bags and then they recently came out with the mini which I loved. I saw it on a fashion blogger as I mentioned. Honestly straight off the bat it reminded me of the Loewe like hammock bag which I was sort of really interested in getting because it just looked really cool like structurally um, and then I saw this and I was like hang on a minute that kind of is like similar aesthetic as the um, Loewe so this is how they sort of packaged it so you can sort of wear it like this um, as a shoulder bag if you want or you could wear it as like a crossbody bag just like this if you wanted but what drew me to it initially was actually the way it looked handheld. So um, even though it looks like this when it's crossbody and there's a shoulder bag, you can actually flip it the other way and you've got like a little cute little basket bag. So um, I just thought that this looked really cool. Um, I love this design. I love the top handle style. And I was worried about the size of this and I thought that it might be too like big on me, but I might check it out like, you know, on me wearing it and see how I like it. But I actually don't mind this size and um, it doesn't come with any feet at the bottom the leather though is really really nice and supple and then in the interior it does come with just a little raw cowhide leather they also give you like a few card slots at the back there and then on the other side you've got like a pocket or a phone holder just there which is nice um, but the inside is like a really nice suede um, material so that is the bag and I'm in two minds about whether or not I'm keeping it. I think for the price that I got it, it's like, it's like, you know, such a good deal that I'm like, I'm kind of tempted to keep it. And certainly if I do keep it, I reckon I'll probably be returning this Zara one because they're just very, very similar in terms of like the top handle design. If I had to pick, I honestly do like this one a little bit more. Um, because I think obviously the brown is just a lot nicer, but there is that price point difference as well. So what do you guys think? What do you, what do you think of this bag? Do you guys like it? Leave your comments in the info section below. Um, and yeah, give me, give me your thoughts on this bag. So that is that one. Now, the final thing that I really wanted to share with you guys, and I was super, super excited about unboxing, but unfortunately I've already unboxed it, um, because I thought that that the camera was filming, if I'm perf being perfectly honest, and um, it wasn't. So I don't want to have to like refill my excitement, but it is actually a vintage Dior piece, and it came in this box right here. Um, this is from Japan, my fa one of my favorite places to buy like um, vintage designer items or designer items in general. Um, and I have purchased from this seller before, so totally, totally trust them. Um, and basically the story behind this is 
you guys know I follow Mel and I love, love Mel. I watch her videos like regularly. She's just so cool and like I love that she sort of does her own thing and I sort of mesh really well with her style. So um, she, I think she, a few months ago she did a video on Dior and I like about her vintage finds and I completely resonated with that and I was like, yes, actually, you know, that is such a good idea. I'm so on the bandwagon on that um, and in particular because I recently saw a vin like not a vintage but I recently saw a new bag released by Dior in the Trader print and it was like a flat bag with like a thick strap to it in like a the Trader print as well and I was in love like I saw Elle Ferguson haul it like or purchase it and like I as soon as she bought it I was obsessed because every time I saw her wearing it I'm just like oh my god that print is amazing and I love I love the bag as well because it's just like really cool like small flat bag with a thick strap it's just I love everything about it and when I went to go to Dior to check it out obviously first of all they didn't have it and then I just think that it was a little bit out of my price point for you know a trendy bag in my opinion um, because I do think that the Dior Trader Prince sort of has its waves of like popularity I think it sort of comes and goes it's not it's classic but it's not as like an everyday staple as like Louis Vuitton you know in terms of like the monogram so I do think that monogram is making a huge huge comeback especially with the 90s vibes so Fendi's coming out with more of their um like what, what's the what's the the print name it's like oh, I don't know but Fendi's coming out with their like old Fendi um print monogram as well with try to print on my mind and then with Mel's video yeah I was like you know what, as much as I want the Trader Print brand new, I think I might actually go vintage for like an affordable price point. Um, and then it wasn't until I found an Instagram blogger who had this bag in the Trader Print and I was just like obsessed to the max and I was like, yep, that is it. That is the bag that I want. And I was basically, I went on a mad hunt trying to find one because I didn't want to pay too much because it's a vintage piece, it's an old piece, it's sort of like a bit kitsch um, because, you know, I don't know how long it's going to stay like trendy for again, so I didn't want to pay too much, but I still wanted it in a really, really good you know condition so I have actually been searching for a while and then recently I stumbled upon this little number and I was obsessed I purchased it as soon as I found it and you know there was no going back so unfortunately I have already unboxed it and I was just like squealing with excitement I can't even tell you how excited I was to get this and I'm still really really excited to share it with you and it is the vintage Dior saddlebag in the Trader print and okay like first of all you guys 250 Australian dollars for this bag second of all look at the condition look ah, I just can't even I just can't even contain myself like you guys I'm oh my god like I'm freaking out about this bag it is just so amazing like this literally has no wear and tear on, like nothing. It's amazing, like, like, uh, just can't even, I can't even deal, like it's it's insane, like, oh uh, my God, like it's incredible. So I got in the saddlebag, I got it in the, I think it's like, I got it in like the dark navy, um, and the most important thing that I really was looking for was actually getting it in like this, silver like ruthenium hardware i know i've seen this in like a few designs i've seen it in like the raspberry i've seen it in like black leather i've seen it in like brown leather um but also i've seen it in this print with this the gold hardware I really really wanted it in the silver because I feel like it just makes it more modern I think with the Trader print in with gold hardware it just looks aged it like obviously looks old um, but with this it sort of just looks it just looks so modern and young and fresh and I just I love this combination and this exact bag was actually what um, I forgot her name but the, the the blogger that I've been obsessed with lately this is exactly what she's had she has and she, the way she styles it is freaking amazing like it's just like effortless it's cool it's just like i like as soon as i saw it i was just like i'm i'm getting that bag like i i don't even care i'm getting that bag i don't care how many bags i already own i need that in my collection so <laughs> i found it and i'm so obsessed 
I'm literally like grinning from ear to ear, you guys. Like, mm, ah. <laughs> so let me just let me stop gushing over the bag for like a quick minute and show you what it is. So it's basically a shoulder bag. Um, it is a saddle bag, so it's sort of supposed to just saddle under your arm like this. Very 90s, right? Like, it's insane. With all these, like, 90s trends, no wonder, like, Monogram is making such a huge comeback. Um, and then opening it up, it does open up with, like, a Velcro opening there. If I just show you the interior, the interior, you guys, the interior is pristine. Like, it is, there's, like, like, no one put anything in here. Like, no one used this bag at all, I feel like. So it's just like a dark hole and then it's got a back pocket which has like like Dior, like a Dior um, toggle there, CD. And then in the inside the pocket it's just like clean. It's like a nylon lining material and then it just has Christian Dior tag there. I don't know if you can see and it's got made in Italy um, and it's got the stamp there. The glazing on this is amazing. Um, and then it's got like one magnetic pocket at the back at the back as well um, Honestly the hardware on these guys is Insane there is like no scratches. There is no wear and tear you guys can see how good like like what amazing condition this bag is in like How insane is that like I am I can't even tell you like I feel <laughs> I feel like I feel like I've just stepped back into like 2004, 2003. I don't even know 1995, and like, like I, <laughs> I just feel like this is such a throwback. It's insane. But I'm primarily going to be wearing this as a clutch. If you want me to do like a wear and tear, if you want me to do a handbag review or what's in my bag on this, let me know. If you want to see me styling this bag, just check out my Instagram. I will definitely post some pictures on there. Um, and if you want to get yourself something very similar to this, I will try and link um, any ones that I've looked at. They, they do have a smaller version of this um, if you guys are interested. But I just love like, I just like, I just love this. I love this design. I love like the CD on here and the thicker strap. And it's just such a cool, cool statement bag. Yes, that is it. Um, I know it's been a really, really rambly video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun unboxing a lot of these items with you guys. Um, I'm sorry that, you know, for a few of them, you couldn't actually see my um, true reaction to the unboxing, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a massive, massive thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so and hit that notification bell so you know when I make new videos. I tend to be a little bit sporadic with my videos, so you definitely want to hit that notification bell. Otherwise, you'll probably miss a few of them. Um, but yeah, you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.